Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a full glam makeup look. I'm going to start off with my trusty Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. Put that on my eyes as usual. Today we're going to be going for a really glittery glam look. Make sure and get it all the way from the lid to the brow bone. All right, now we're gonna set that down with the using the setting brush. We're gonna use the shade Brulee from Wet n Wild. And we're just going to use a fluffy brush and we're going to use Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek as my transition shade. I'm just going to put that in my crease and a little above it, make everything go on smoothly. Do the same thing to the other eye. You can't really see it because it kind of blends in with my skin really well. That's kind of the point. You don't want it to be like a deep dark shake. It's just something to be a little bit darker than your skin tone just to make everything blend out properly. I'm going to go with my crease brush. I'm going to use Makeup Geek Shade in Latte. And this is going to be my crease shade. I'm going to use to build it up and make it a little bit darker. Do the same thing to the other eye. Build it up the intensity a little bit more. And then I'm going to go back in with that fluffy brush and just blend out all those harsh lines. Just blend, blend, blend. <laughs> Next, I'm going to use my outer corner brush that I use. It's a little bit fluffier than the one you just saw. I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek Shadow and Cabin Fever. This is kind of like a reddish brown color. I'm going to use this. I'm going to go a little bit more dramatic than I normally do. I'm going to really deepen out that outer corner and bring it up kind of like in a cat eye shape. This is going to give you that really dramatic effect. It's perfect when you go when I go really glam. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. The trick is probably to stop right at the end of your brow. Like, don't go any farther than there. That's normally what I try to do. You can use, a lot of people use tape and stuff like that. I really don't like to do that. You can always clean up later, though, with your concealer. And I'm going to go back in with that fluffy brush and blend all that back out as well. Then I'm going to use a flat shader brush and I'm going to, actually I'm going to use my angled fluffy brush. I'm going to do my brow bone first before I do my lid. And this shade is in the color Sugar by Wet n Wild. And I normally don't really like to use a sparkly shadow, but luckily even though it's sparkly, it doesn't, the glitter doesn't trans, 
like go on your lid as well. And so it's not too sparkly. It's just a light sheen of white. But it's perfect to kind of pop that prow bone. Now I'm going to go in with that flat shader brush. And I'm going to use the Makeup Geek Foiled Shadow and Magic Act. It's like a really pretty gold shade. And I'm just going to pack that on. And I'm probably going to use a little bit more than I normally use. And just put that all over my lid. I'm going to do the same thing on the other lid and just really pack it on. The next product I'm going to get used, this is going to really intensify the look. It's called the Heavy Metal Glitter Liner by Urban Decay. But what I'm going to use it as is like actually as my shadow, just like a topper. And it's got just like a small little wand on it, so I have to kind of swirl it around there to get lots of product. And I'm just going to, instead of lining it, I'm just going to sweep it all across my lid. And really get it nice and glittery and shiny. As you can see, it's very intense. You just got to wiggle it around a little bit more because it doesn't have a huge wand on it since it's meant as a liner. But you can do anything you want with it. I've also used it as a liner like on top of my black liner and it's really pretty too. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes to prepare them to put on some false lashes so that they blend in better with the lashes. And these that I'm about to use are very intense false lashes. They're going to be the Huda Samantha lashes. That's what they look like. And then I'm going to put a little bit of the Duo lash glue on them. And I'm also going to use the Duo lash applicator to apply them but if you don't have the applicator you can use like tweezers or something like that just be really careful not to poke yourself in the eye or anything they took quite a while for me to apply so I went ahead and skipped that step so you don't have to see me five minutes of applying it then I'm going to go with that physician's formula eyeliner and I'm going to go right over the glue to kind of hide some of the glue and to blend it a little bit more into my lash line as you can see, they're very intense. Next, I'm going to go with the Stila Smudge Proof Eyeliner. I'm going to put that on my waterline, and it's in the shade Lionfish. It's like a bronzy, glittery shade. It's really pretty. I'm going to use my MAC strobe cream. I'm going to use this kind of as my base of the primer. And this is just going to give me a really nice glow to my look. Pretty much any time I go glam, I want to be really glittery and glowy. <laughs> and it's also really hydrating, so that's a nice property too. And just spread that all over my face. Then for my actual primer, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. I'm going to put that a little bit on my chin. A little bit on my cheeks. And then any excess, I'm going to use a little bit on my forehead. This is great because it kind of glides over any texture you have and it also fills in those pores so that your 
foundation goes on smoothly over top of it. Then for my foundation, I'm going to use the Dior foundation, the Forever foundation. I'm going to pump that out and then I'm going to dot it all over my face like I always do. And then, as always, I'm going to use my Beauty Blender to blend it all out. I've been really falling into this, falling in love with this foundation more and more. Because it gives me a really nice coverage. But I, feel, I don't feel like, I feel like it kind of blends in my skin pretty well. To where it doesn't look like, it's like, oh, you're definitely wearing makeup. Like, you can definitely tell, but it's not too intense. Especially in person, it's got a lot more natural look to it. Make sure I'm blended into the hairline. And down my neck a little bit. And then for my concealer, I'm going to use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and this is in the shade Vanilla. I'm going to use this under my eyes, and then down my nose, on my forehead, and on my chin. This is actually my favorite concealer of all my concealers. I love it because it's really full coverage, and it is pretty creamy, and it doesn't really crease on me or anything like that. The only thing I don't like about it is I feel like I really have to, I can't. A lot of times, like on concealers, you can scoop in one time and then you can use it on your whole face. But I feel like I have to keep dipping back in, which kind of sucks. But other than that, it's a great concealer. Just going to blend that out. With my beauty blender. Make sure I'm getting that corner so everything's blended out. You know, anything peeking through so it looks like you can just see a patch right there. Not pretty. Then I'm going to use my trusty hourglass ambient powder to set my face with my e.l.f. kabuki brush. As you can see from my last video, I've been really enjoying this brush to apply my powder lately just because it's such a light layer so I don't look too dry and cakey. Then for my bronzer, I'm going to use the NARS Laguna bronzer. I'm going to put this on the primers of my face. I find it easy, um, like if you're not really used to where you're supposed to put bronzer, it's kind of like a three on your face. Like you go forehead and then swoop down to your cheek and then you swoop down to your jawline. And then you do like a back, go backwards three on your other side. I'm going to use this brush and I'm actually going to contour today surprisingly. Definitely not the best at it, but I'm going to use the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder. And I'm just going to use the edge of my brush and tap it off. And then you're going to make kind of like a pucker face and get right along that line. It looks really harsh right now, but we're going to blend it out in a minute. And you're going to do the same thing to the other side. And then I'm going to take that brush that I use for bronzing, because it's really fluffy. And I'm going to blend, blend, blend that out. And this is going to create a shadow to kind of slim down your face a little bit.
And I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. I'm going to use a spoolie and brush my brow hairs up. And today I'm going to be using the pencil, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And my shade is in taupe. I like to fill in like my sparse areas, which is like towards the end of my brow. And then when I get like up to the front part of my brow, I just kind of use like little brush strokes to mimic hairs. Because I don't need as much in the front as I do toward the end of it. Just kind of shape them a little bit. I'm going to go back in the spoolie just to disperse the product through. And brush those brow hairs back up before I put the brow gel on. And for the brow gel, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Brow Stylus Plumper Gel. This is just in clear. After that, I'm going to go in with my blush. This is by Tarte. It's the Exposed Blush. And this is just a really pretty matte nude blush. It's really good if you're going like really bold on the eyes and you want to like not go too too dramatic on the face. This is the blush I like to use, or just for every day. Really, goes with every single look because it's just a neutral matte nude. I had to check on my son again. <laughs> Then I'm for highlighter, of course, I'm going to use Becca and Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill. And I'm going to really apply a thick layer all over my face with this, especially on my cheekbones, down my nose, on my forehead, on my cupid's bow, and on my chin. I'm going to put some more back on my cheekbones, because you got to love the highlight. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and set that down with the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. It's probably my favorite part after packing on all that makeup. Just get a little of a refresher in. <laughs> For my lips, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Lipstick and Ex-Girlfriend. This is the Gwen Stefani collection. It's a really pretty nude pink shade. And then I'm going to go on top of that with the Milani Lip Gloss and Luminous. This is a really pretty, like, pinky. And it's pretty pigmented. It's not really a sheer gloss. It's very pigmented. But it goes perfect with that lip color. And that's going to be all. Thank you all so much for watching. If you could please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful day.